Hey everyone, Reed Gore Views here. So again, my video is a day later because I had a late shift and I'm a survivor. So let's get started. So it's that glorious time in Survivor, the merge episode. Congrats to everybody who's made the merge. That's such a big accomplishment. You guys should be really proud of yourselves. Excuse me. So it was amazing that they didn't go right to a reward challenge. They I mean, it's obvious from us fans, you could tell that the merge was coming and it was probably obvious to everyone else the merge was there. But what was different this time is that, as Jeff put it, certain moments in Survivor become iconic and this is one of them. All of the people on the edge of extinction get to come back and try to um, play earn their way back in the game and Chris earned an advantage but then Keith gave him a disadvantage I guess a few more knots but they basically had to go through these obstacles and then they had to do what I call um, th um, the Christian challenge because as we know from last season David versus Goliath Christian was a beast in that challenge where you have to um, maneuver through the puzzle you have to like keep stepping back and hold on to these poles he was awesome in that, so they had to do that at the end, and um, Chris was behind because of his disadvantage that Keith gave him, but it was for a while, it looked like Aubrey was in the, Aubrey was in the lead for a while, but it actually, um, Rick, Wendy, and Chris were kind of neck and neck. I seriously thought Wendy was going to make her way back in the game, but it actually was Rick, so yeah, it was definitely emotional watching that because Jeff said that their time is over and you could kind of feel the emotions there feeling that you know they went out here for a purpose to play this game and compete and the fact that they all went out pre-merge and they didn't really get a chance to I mean some of them did get a chance to play the game but they didn't really get to um show what they're made of yet like they had a lot more um game to play and have a lot more to offer so to see them their dreams crush like that was a lot but we actually learned that oh they're not going to be going home they're going back for another chance in the edge of extinction and every one of them decided to go back but then it goes to commercial and then we come back and we see them on the edge of extinction they're all talking about oh we all decided to come back but then you see Keith and Wendy raising the white flag, meaning that their time is done. So it's like, really? I mean, I'm not that surprised because Keith was horrible in challenges and Wendy was the one who freed the chickens so everybody would um, um, starve, out, starve out there. Well, not starve, but she, we all know what she did. So, yeah, I... I wasn't surprised that they decided to leave. I thought out of anybody who... Went, would quit Edge of Extinction that they would be it. So now they're down to Reem, Chris, and Aubrey on the Edge of Extinction. So, you know, everything's all rainbows and unicorns right now. They're all getting to know each other, but you have to think of it this way. Um, the merge comes, the easy vote would be Rick because he doesn't know anybody on Kama and his tribe mates, his other tribe mates voted him out. So he'd be the easy vote to send him back to the Edge of Extinction. I mean, that's what Wentworth said. But Julie, who was getting pretty friendly with Rick at the merge feast, doesn't think that's a good idea. She flipped it around and wants to get rid of Wentworth, which I like Wentworth. She's one of my you know favorite people to win this season, but it actually isn't a bad move for them to get Wentworth out. Now, granted, she has an, an idol in her pocket, and if she wins the immunity challenge, I mean, she's pretty golden. And Lauren, both Lauren and Wentworth have idols, so, I mean, if they feel like they're going to be voted out, they have that in their pocket. So, the um, before the, even the immunity challenge comes, Rick finds something in his, in his bag, and from the looks of it, I thought it was going to be the super idol, but apparently it's an immunity idol. But it gets has some stipulations. Um, it cannot be used at this tribal council. He has to give half of the idol to 
another castaway as a quote unquote bargaining chip. And then it could be used, it could only be used after the next tribal council. So that makes it very interesting because it was in Rick's bag, but if he gives the other half to another castaway, which in this case he chose David because that's the person he trusts the most, does that mean David can say, oh, I'm not giving you my half of the idol? Can he use that? Could he flip it around and use that as a bargaining chip? So the immunity challenge comes and it's, you know, a classic balance challenge as we know all these individual immunity challenges are and had to raise their hands above their head and hold on to this pole and had a statue on the end and if the statue dropped, you're out or if you fall off the beam, it out, you're out. And I am freaking impressed. They took out the golden boy Joe and we all know how much of a challenge BC is, so as soon as that happened, I'm like, they better get him out now while they have the chance. Because if they let Joe go far, he's going to win back-to-back challenges and they'll stand no chance. So it was actually came down between Lauren and Julie, and Julie actually won the first immunity challenge. So congrats, Julie, on winning the first immunity challenge. So the talk around when they get back to camp is Rick or Wentworth. Rick or Wentworth. They think it's evil to send Rick back to the edge of extinction when he just got back, but we know from Redemption Island they kept, was it Redemption Island? Yeah, I think it was Redemption Island. They kept sending Matt back to uh, Redemption Island, so I mean but it is also a good idea to get rid of Wentworth, but then the pitch comes that they should get, Ron says that they should get rid of Joe while they have the chance, and the fact that he looks almost too comfortable and he won't talk strategy to Ron that kind of sets some red flags and they do have the numbers to get rid of Joe they have they have the six comma and you know they have the numbers to do it now so now's the perfect time so to get to tribal and yeah um what was interesting I think Victoria can be very snarky um she mentioned a tribal about getting threats out and Joe obviously he's a threat one because he's returner two because he's Joey amazing and he's and he said basically he implied she implied that he was one of the threats and she's like I have other qualifications for threats no it's not just physical threats now I'm like "Uh, okay take a chill pill so basically she was hinting toward Wentworth for Joe and it actually was ended. They ended up sending Joe home, which I definitely think was the right move for them. Joe didn't think so. He's like, you just made. The, he's like, they just made the biggest mistake. Uh, no, they didn't because if they would have let him go further, um, he probably would have got to the final three. But he's on edge of extinction now, so he has the chance to get back in the game. So next week's episode shows that Ron, he as his words, he's is a puppet master trying to control things. And we see that David and Devin's may not be as tight as we thought they were. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's Survivor. If you guys want to check out Survivor, it is on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. on CBS. Until next time, stay regal.